What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to start with cryptocurrency. For example, if you are new to cryptocurrency and you're just trying to learn or maybe you don't know or you're just trying to learn how to buy it or how to start investing or you're just trying to do a research about each individual project, each cryptocurrency, see what they for or you're just trying to learn in general about cryptocurrency, where to look for, how to buy it and how to store. In this video, I'm going to show you where to start, where to purchase, and then how to store if you would like to store in private wallet. So this video is mainly for beginners, but if you previously purchased cryptocurrency, you might still learn new things from this video. If you're just trying to learn about cryptocurrency and see what kind of cryptocurrency out there are available. So there are two websites that I would recommend to start out with. One of them is coingecko.com and second one is coinmarketcap.com. They're very similar websites, but they have different layouts and some people prefer one over the other. So in this case, we're going to go over coingecko.com. Once you open this website, you'll see all the cryptocurrencies and their prices. So everybody heard Bitcoin. Bitcoin is number one cryptocurrency. Current price, gain or losses in one hour, 24 hours, seven days, and then 24 hour volume trading market cap. And then second is Ethereum. And then you can just keep on going down the list. So let's say, for example, let's open up Ethereum. Once you click on a coin, you'll be presented with this website. And then right here, same thing is going to show you the price. Then if you scroll down right here, you'll see 24 hour chart where it started 24 hour ago. And then where is it right now and how it was going up and down. Then right here, you can also press on the markets. When you click on markets right here, it's going to show you every single place where you can buy Ethereum and which cryptocurrency you'll have to use to buy it, basically pair. For example, on Coinbase, you can buy Ethereum for USD. On Binance, you can buy with a Bitcoin, Binance USD, USDT. This is another exchange and so on. So you can just scroll down and look and see exactly what cryptocurrency you can use to buy Ethereum. Then if we scroll up right here, we're going to be able to see a website. So this is basically Ethereum homepage. You can open it up and you can see, you can learn and read about the project if you're thinking about investing into it. Then if we go back, then right here, you'll see Ethereum Explorer. If you open it up, you're going to be able to see actual blockchain Explorer and you'll see you can find every Ethereum transaction here as well. And then if we scroll down, different wallets right here and then community, they have Reddit page, Twitter, Facebook, different forums. And then also right here, you're going to be able to see entire market cap and the trading value and then circulation supply. So at this moment, Ethereum has 118 million coins and total supply is unlimited and max supply is unlimited as well at this time. But other coins, they have actual max cap and then total supply cap as well. So let's go back and let's say, let's choose another coin. For example, let's say Cardano. Cardano max supply 45 billion, total supply 45 billion. And right now circulation supply is 32 billion. So that's mean the other billions probably locked somewhere and most likely they will be released later. And the same thing right here. If you choose another project, you'll see website, explore the community different wallets and then graph and then market again. You're going to be able to see where can you buy Cardano. And then if you click on chart, different charts here, historical data, you can see here which date market cap it was, volume trading, open price and then closed price. And then here you can probably find some Cardano news. So then let's say you're done searching for coins. You can go back here and if you hover over coins right here, then you'll see this menu is going to appear. Recently added, you can open this one up, then discover, 
and then large movers you can look through every single one of those items in the menu but i'm just gonna show you those three ones the ones that i like the most so recently added if you go here you're going to be able to see recently added coins to coin gecko it doesn't mean they're brand new coins maybe they were developed earlier they were just recently added here and right here you're going to be able to see the actual coin price on which blockchain it is trading volume how many holders and how long ago it was added and then you can scroll down and you can look through maybe a new project maybe maybe you decide to invest into one of the new projects hoping maybe in the future it's gonna take off then the second tab we open that up discover coins so right here you can see at the moment trending searches most voted coin positive sentiment recently added most visited and then top trending coins in certain country what i usually look for trending coins and then right here most visited coins at the moment bitcoin is most visited coin because it was pumping today and also you can scroll down and see other coins as well and then the last tab i would like to show you is large movers so right here you can see top gainers and top losers so for example you can see that today the top gainer it was this coin right here and the top loser it was this coin right here so you can scroll down and you can see which coins are gaining value today or which ones are actually losing and then you can determine maybe you should invest or maybe you should not invest into this specific coin and then there's many other different tabs you can go through i'm not going to go through every single one of them because if i'll do that then this video is going to be probably a couple hours and then if we press on exchanges there are different types of exchanges at this time we're just going to be talking about spot exchanges and then in here you can see which ones are the best which ones got the best score so number one is binance second biggest one is a coin base exchange that's the us based and then few other one ftx kucoin and then you can just scroll down and see every single exchange that is out there so now let's take a look and see where we need to go to buy cryptocurrency i chose a couple exchanges that i think are the best to start out especially for newcomers so if you are from us i would recommend to start out with coinbase i know some people don't like coinbase but i personally never had problems with it and i think this is the best and cheapest way to put your usd to put the fiat into cryptocurrency and if you are not from us what you can do you can scroll down and you can press on supported countries and then right here you're going to be able to see every country that coinbase is supporting and for example canada in canada you can convert sell buy you can add debit card and you can buy through paypal same thing other ones mexico united states some european country south american country european countries most of them are supported by coinbase and you can just scroll down and see which ones it is which one's not so if your country is here and you can buy with either bank account credit card or paypal just go register here sign up and actually in here what you can do you can go and earn free crypto if you go down here and press on earn free crypto then you can start course i'll show you a couple presentation slides and then you'll answer a question i'll give you a couple dollars in that crypto and that way you can start exchanging crypto without even putting your own money then at the same time you'll have to in a coinbase before you can purchase you'll have to provide your driver license or some kind of identification card and you'll have to take a picture and you'll have to submit all that while you're registering before you can purchase crypto let's say for example you're not from us or from any of the other country coinbase is supporting then you can go to the next exchange and before we're going to move on to the next exchange we'll go back here and then if you scroll down again one more thing you can press on supported crypto and right here you're going to be able to see every single crypto that you can buy on coinbase while back it used to be only few crypto like 
three or four and now they've been adding more and I think they're constantly adding. So if, for example, at the time you don't see your favorite crypto here, you can just wait and at some point maybe they will add. But if it's still not going to be there, then you can probably find it on any other exchanges. And let's say, for example, Coinbase is not supporting your country. Then we can buy crypto using KuCoin. KuCoin is one of the other better places to buy cryptocurrency and you don't have to do KYC. KYC stands for know your customer. Basically, you don't have to provide your address, your driver license or any personal information to start trading. And same thing right here. You can buy different cryptocurrencies using your credit card or debit card or whatever method they're accepting. So if you go and buy crypto, you can press on fast buy and they support bank card, Visa, MasterCard, and also bank transfer and plus 20 other options. And then third party, Simplex, BTC Direct. I think if you're going to use one of those third parties, the fees is going to be slightly higher than on Coinbase but if this is the only option you have you can still purchase cryptocurrency here and then you can go through this website you can scroll down and see exactly what coins you can purchase here and then you can go on here trade spot trading that's most likely where you're going to be buying your cryptocurrency and then you have to choose what kind of cryptocurrency you're going to be buying and if this looks very confusing to you, I already made a video about how to buy Shiba coin. I'll leave that link in the description below. This is pretty easy. You just have to try it, maybe try a couple times and then you'll figure it out. And in the video, I explain how to actually purchase using this method. Then another website is FTX. So there's a US version and there's an international version. They also pretty good. They have so many different coins with so many different pairs and then finally Binance so Binance there is Binance.us for US residents and then there is Binance.com that's for everybody else same thing if you're not in US then you can register here and Binance.com has a lot more coins than Binance.us so to buy coins here same thing you will have to register provide all the info and then you can start buying and purchasing cryptocurrency here. And then the last thing I wanted to show you. So let's say, for example, you bought cryptocurrency on Coinbase or maybe on KuCoin or somewhere else. And if you are storing your cryptocurrency there, that means the specific exchange is holding your private key. So you only have your public key. And let's say, for example, you decide to move all your cryptocurrency into private wallet. So I'm going to show you a couple desktop versions and they have same wallets on mobile version as well. So one of the desktop wallets is, is Exodus. So they have mobile versions as well. If you go to App Store or Google Play Store, just type Exodus and you can download one of those wallets on your mobile device. So in here, you're going to have different wallet Right now I have 40X LMs in my wallet. This is on a Stellar network. And then there's also Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Cardano, and there's many other ones. And for example, if you have some kind of other coins that you would like to add and you don't see them here, what you can do, you can press on settings. And then in here you can scroll down and you can enable addresses. For example, if one inch is not here, then you can just put a check mark next to it and then once you're done you can just go back and then one inch is gonna appear and then same thing you can scroll through other ones and see which other cryptocurrencies you would like to add and then there's a second one it's called jack's liberty wallet it's very similar to exodus in here you can see all your holding and then if we press on wallets you can see all different wallets that it's enabled and if for example one of them is not enabled that you need to have you can press on edit and then you can scroll down and find all other coins they have many different coins added in here and then you just have to flip a switch and it will be enabled in your wallets and then you can go back here you can see pricing then you can buy and trade 
and then if you press on buy you can buy with credit card bank transfer or apple pay and then you will have to just choose option here and then you would like to pay with usd or you can choose other cryptocurrency that is supported here and then which one you're going to be purchasing there's not that many options here but you can always purchase either ethereum or usdt or maybe i don't know doge or something else and then you can go back here and you can press on trade and you can trade whatever you want let's say for example you purchase ethereum and you would like to trade for something else and then you can scroll down and see which ones are available at this time by some reason a bunch of them are unavailable but there's still quite a few of them that are available and you can still purchase using your ethereum coin and then if we press on news tab there's a bunch of news jack rewards and then block explore and this is pretty much it first you need to go to either coin market cap or coin gecko to do a research to find coin that you like to purchase then you need to go to one of the exchanges either coinbase coin or maybe binance or any other ones that has your coin and then you can buy that coin probably with usdt or any other cryptocurrency that it's paired with and then if you like to transfer to private wallet just use one of the wallets jacks exodus i'll put few other links in the description below like there's another one atomic and few other ones the ones that are actually really good one too and you can refer to all of the links from this video in the description below and hopefully this video will help you to get started with cryptocurrency and if something i didn't cover that you would like to know specifically you can leave a question in the comments below and if i'll have chance i'm gonna try to get to it i'm gonna try to answer or maybe depends i can probably even make a video about it just to help you get started and that's all i got if this video is helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching